Digital Media in Johannesburg, this is The Real Economy Report. Brazilian motor and controls manufacturer WEG's South African subsidiary, Zest WEG Group, has introduced its new WEG IE4 rated super premium efficiency motor to the South African market. Natasha Urdendahl tells us more. The new IE4 super premium efficiency motor is being phased into the company's WEG W22 range from April, with no price premium to the IE3 premium efficiency units. It is expected to have a significant impact on energy savings for all industries, produce bottom line savings for its customers, and help reduce the load on the national grid amid rapidly rising electricity costs and supply restrictions. Electric Motors manager Fani Stein tells us more. What I'm demonstrating here is the differences in efficiencies between electric motors. Electric motors have different standards or different classes in efficiency. By starting, we have IE1 then IE2, IE3, IE4. IE4 is a super premium efficiency. While South Africa has not regulated the use of energy efficient motors at the level of IE2 or IE3, the company embarked on a mission to bring higher efficiency motors into the country to save its customers costs and continue to reduce the load on the national electricity grid. When looking at the global minimum of energy performance standards, one can see that in Europe they are already on IE3 as a regulation. North America, China, even in Brazil going to I3 at the moment. Also Australia just ad- adopted I3 above their E3 that they used to have. So in Africa there's no minimum energy efficiency level for electric motors. So people buy normally I1, which is your cheaper end machine with low efficiency values. We as Zest has gone in the past and we have started to introducing higher efficiency uh, uh, motors to our customers. We've changed from IE1 to IE2 many years ago. And then in 2015, we moved over from the IE2 to an IE3. And now we're launching the IE4 motor, which is the super premium efficiency motor above the IE3. The IE4 is equipped with many features that enable it to run more cost effectively and bring other considerable benefits when compared with the IE3 and lower rated motors. The IE4 has so many more features compared to the IE3. It is the same W22 construction, which is a very robust motor, very well known in industry and with our end users. Additional features like extended grease pipe on the driving side, removable gland plates on the terminal boxes, and additionally, the, all the savings that you can achieve. So the higher efficiency means savings immediately from the day that you install it. Another great feature of the i 4 motor is the C4 lamination that we use for the core of the motor. What is so special about this is that you can repair that motor back to an efficiency of i 4 because of the high temperature it can handle during a burnout and in a repair. We are launching from a 2 to 5 frame, which is typically a 3745 kilowatt up to a 355 kilowatt, 2, 4 and 6 pole. So those are the bigger machines, the big energy guzzlers where customers can have immediate benefit when buying them. A big mistake people make when buying electric motors, they're comparing price of the motor the day when they buy it, instead of comparing the energy uses over the lifetime of the motor. Mm. So comparing the savings between uh, the different efficiencies, you're looking at between 1 to 3 percent, depending on the size of the motor. The smaller the motor, the bigger the jumps. The bigger the motor, the smaller the jumps. But then again, a big motor at with high kilowatts, even a 1% or a 2% is a significant saving in your energy bill over a long period of time. The cost saving is what's so beautiful about this whole thing because we will bring this i4 to our customers without additional cost to them. We will be selling the i3, i4 for the same price as the I, current i3 motor, which is a great cost saving. That's Crema Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy. And don't forget to listen to the audio version of our engineering news daily email newsletter.